Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today's video is going to be a, in today's video we're going to be doing some deep cleaning in some parts of the kitchen and I'm going to be prepping and decorating and adding some new additions to the kitchen and dining room, getting it ready for fall decorating. Originally, I thought that I could fit all of this or all of that into one video. However, I ended up doing so many kind of like little projects and setting things up and then cleaning it. It has just kind of morphed into its own video. So the actual decorating for fall is going to be in a separate video and I will post that in the next day or so so definitely be on the lookout for that because i'm loving how everything turned out we're going to start off with this space in the dining room we moved into this house in january if you are new here and i've just kind of been decorating with all of the things that i already have this is kind of what i had for the dining room but i was not and am not in love with it and so I really wanted something to change. So when we redid our master bathroom we kept the mirrors that were over the vanity. Basically I'm using bathroom vanity mirrors that I already have and I'm just going to be painting them black. I've already taped them off as good as I could. I'm going to sand the mirrors down and then I'm going to go over them with some chalk paint. I kind of had the idea that the chalk paint was going to help it stick better now. Now the end result um, turned out fine but I bought this gloss rust-oleum black indoor outdoor paint and then I actually go in later with a satin finish in a sample um, color black that I had so regardless they turned out great um, I love how everything turned out but it was a it was a long process so that's probably why this video is so long and I'm so behind I was really thinking about what I wanted to do and I really didn't want to go out and buy new things plus I just really didn't know I didn't know what I wanted to do but I felt like I kind of wanted to do something with mirrors um, but I really do love the let's eat sign and I know it's like farmhousey but I feel like my style is kind of boho farmhousey modern farmhousey whatever what I like what I like and I decorate with what I like so I wanted to keep my sign but I also wanted mirrors and I feel like it turns out it turns out really cute also in this video before we get started I hang up a few more pieces in my kitchen because I have not touched the kitchen the kitchen and the boys bedrooms are the only rooms that have not been touched in this house and before we go into the kitchen I'm going to do the boys rooms and I also have a couple of other projects for, with family members so my kitchen is probably gonna have to wait until like the beginning of the year but that's okay it gives us more time to save up the money for what we need because I really miss my single basin sink but I have not done a whole bunch in my kitchen and after this video and spending some time figuring out what I kind of wanted, I'm really enjoying how everything has turned out.
I have to scrub these off. I can't. I cannot in good conscience just wipe these down. I cannot. How it sways in the sun Keeping your stories In its motion Lies the truth about us Another thing that I kind of it's not really sidetracked I just did not anticipate for all of these things to be popping up so like I said I have not I have not touched the kitchen and so the paint kind of stopped right there on the other side of the barn doors for the, in the dining room and I was like I can't move my stuff over here and really do what I want to do for my coffee area and it's like halfway painted so it was a small space so I just decided to go ahead and paint this area so while I was waiting on the mirrors to dry I just painted this backsplash area behind the sink and where my coffee bar area is going to go my, my coffee set up because it's not like a whole separate thing it's just like a space on the counter so I don't know really what to call it so we're just gonna we're just gonna call it the coffee setup so I'm just going to give that a fresh coat of paint so it'll look all nice and fresh and complete <music>
these mirrors are super different, the ones that are like really hard to hang. So I put a piece of tape on the back and poked holes where the nails should go. And I tested it out to make sure it works. So it does work. So I just used this on both sides and already made the holes. And now I'm going to put in some anchors because they're really heavy. father's voice he would tell me to move on he would say i'll be just fine yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal a favorite song is on repeat drinking wine until the dawn
So I'm kind of using the same concept that I used with the mirrors to hang up these hooks just to make sure that they are all level and even because I did not have my handy dandy husband. Um, he usually makes sure that everything is level. So we, we had to be left with our own resources this night. So I just took a piece of tape and I'm going to place it under the sign where I want it. And then I'm just going to kind of put little indentions in the wall. So it will be easy to just drill the holes in the wall. Right, guys that's going to wrap up this video I have cleaned everything at this point 
and I'm getting ready to decorate. So like I said, that video will be up in the next day or so. I'm hoping it'll just kind of be a bonus video because, because like I said, I originally wanted to have everything. And thank you all so much. I hope you have a great weekend if you're watching this on the day that it uploads all in one video, but it was just going to be way too long. Make sure that you stick around and subscribe or give it a thumbs up so you can find me again if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.